Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just want to demonstrate a, a tool that I've developed in uh, Node-RED to view and uh, delete um, retained messages. Now I did a, a Python tool many years ago and that's available and I'll put a, a, download, a link to the, the download in the video description so if you prefer Python then you can use that one. Um, I did actually recently upgrade it to make it a bit more user friendly. Uh, this basically does very similar to what you'll find in MQTT Explorer, probably not as good as MQTT Explorer, but if you're a, not a user of MQTT Explorer, which I'm, I'm not really, um, and you are a Node-RED user, then you'll probably find this a, a bit more useful. So let me just take you through it very quickly so you, you know how to use it if you do download it and decide to want to, to use it. So here we just enter the name of the broker and we press on here to connect or disconnect. Um, it says stop and start but basically should say connect and, and disconnect. Now I'm already connected to this broker here. Now to view the list of retained messages I just refresh the list here. Um, I've already done it once so that's why it's given me a duplicate. Now with retain messages, you actually get the retain messages when you connect. So when you're actually starting this and you, you connect, you'll get an initial list of, of retain messages. As I say, but you'll need to click on the refresh list to actually see that list for the, for the first time. Now this list appears here just to give you an overview and it also appears in the drop down list. So from the drop down list, you select the actual uh, retained message topic that you're interested in. So if I just choose uh, house one room, room one temperature and you'll see it appears over here now in the selected topic and I can delete that individual one or I can scroll up here and I can delete all house one room one or all house one. So if I go for this one here it lists the topics I'm going to delete here and then I just click on remove and that should remove them. Now if I refresh the list again you should see they've all been removed and I'm just left with the house topics here. Now the actual remove when you click on the remove what the, this does is actually um, resubscribes to the actual uh, topic list. Now we're actually uh, subscribing which is not uh, obvious here we're subscribing to all topics we're just subscribing to the wildcard that there so if I want to connect to another broker I just stop it here type in the broker address here and connect to that broker and then I just refresh the list and it gives a, a list of the retained topics on that particular broker so then I just select which one I want select it again here and then to remove I click on remove and that's it. Uh, a quick node red tool for viewing and deleting retained messages. Uh, so um, if you've got any comments then please leave them below. If you like the video then click on the like button below and if you'd like to get notified as new videos on the channel then um, sub subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button. Until next time, bye.